George Bernard Shaw once famously said, the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. Although he died in 1950, Shaw's words live on, especially in the business world. Far too many executives, salespeople, consultants, and even rank-and-file employees don't communicate very well. Some think that they're writing and speaking effectively by using sophisticated terms like alignment, paradigm shift, synergy, net-net, form factor, and optics. Others think that they're being clever. No doubt you know the type. Maybe you're even one of them and don't realize it. These are the folks who regularly rely upon obscure acronyms, technobabble, jargon, and buzzwords when plain English would work just fine. They constantly invent new tech-laden words, bastardize others, and turn nouns into verbs. They ignore their audiences, oblivious to the context of their words. In other words, they talk without speaking. If bad business communication is a disease, the prevalence of hackneyed and utterly meaningless terms is just one of its major causes. Aside from using confusing language, many corporate folks depend almost exclusively on a single communications vehicle, email. In the process, they actively resist new, powerful, and truly collaborative tools specifically designed to make people work and communicate better. What's the net effect of this near-pervasive failure to effectively communicate while at work? At a minimum, communication breakdowns are directly responsible for myriad inefficiencies. Duplicate efforts, ineffectual campaigns, project failures, largely avoidable gaffes, internal political squabbles, and foregone business opportunities. If that seems a bit lofty and abstract, then consider the following real-world scenarios. Think about how many misunderstandings have taken place at your organization. How many could have been averted if two colleagues had simply engaged in a five-minute in-person conversation or video conference over Skype? How many people walked away from a meeting confused because they didn't understand their manager's instructions to find new actionable value adds at different price points going forward? Ask yourself how many technical problems could have been solved with a quick phone call and a simple screen sharing session. Fortunately, business communication doesn't need to suffer from antiquated tools and a commensurate mindset. In Message Not Received, award-winning author Phil Simon demonstrates how intelligent professionals and organizations are embracing simpler language and new technologies to communicate in a much more straightforward and effective manner. No theoretical text. Simon takes us on a journey, stopping at progressive companies along the way. Message Not Received examines how we communicate, use, and often misuse language and technology at work. It's high time to re-examine not only what we say while we're on the clock, but how we say it.